Hi, it's Saul from Cheap Alarm Parts. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to connect the A-Link Plus software to a Solution 2000 or 3000 um, via a couple of methods. The first thing you need to do is to install A-Link Plus and that you can get it from our website. So on our website, go to Alarm Kits, Bosch Alarm Kits, down to 3000 and down to Software. Um, you'll find it here. Don't add to the cart, just click on the product itself and inside the product you will find a link. Click on the link and you'll get access to our OneDrive and there you'll find a link. So click on the link, uh, download it to your computer and install it. And then when you're finished, run a link. So here's my copy here, a link plus version five. First thing it asks you for is the operator and password, which are both admin in capital letters. So admin admin. Now on this screen on your machine, it will be blank. To create a new customer, click on the new customer icon and you will load up a blank customer. Every customer needs a customer number. So put in any customer number. You'll probably start with one. I'm gonna start with 562 and I'm gonna write the customer's name, demo video. Uh, the rest of the information you don't actually need at this stage. The next thing you need to do is tell the system what control panel it's talking to. So click on control panel configuration and go to panel series and the, both the solution 2000 and 3000 are a one solution series. So click on that. Panel type, if you have a solution 2000, select 2000 version two. I've got a 3000 here, so I'm gonna collect 3000 version two. And up comes all the default programming for that panel. So right at the top of the tree, we have access and these two parameters here. First one is install the code, which has the default of one, two, three, four. Now, when you connect to the panel, the first thing it checks is that you have the same installer code in the panel as you do in this database. So if you've changed your installer code on your panel, make sure you change this to whatever your new installer code is. So just click on it, delete the old one, put in your numbers, and that's it. In terms of linking, that's all you need to do in this section. If we go to link, we have the communication model. It, by default, it's on direct connect, which means you need a DLA cable connected between your computer and the panel. Other options are modem connect, which is for old PSTN lines and 56K modems, which you probably won't be using. Um, Cloud Connect, if you've got an IP module or a B450M, which came with the QR code and it's connected to the cloud and you've already set that up, you can then use Cloud Connect. If you have a B426M module, you can use Network Connect TCP IP. So let's start with Network Connect. If you go back to customer information, down here you can see control panel IP address. If you don't know what it is, you can select search and start. and it will search your network for a B426-M and ours should pop up here. And there it is. So you can check the MAC address. It'll be the same as the one printed on your unit. And here's the IP address 192.168.1.203. So let's close that and type in our IP address 192.168.1.203. Save that, go back to link and select Network Connect TCP IP. We're gonna untick the auto disconnect after five minutes and hit connect. And you'll see down here a progress bar and it attempt to synchronize. When it's attempting to synchronize, it's making sure that you have the same panel type and the same installer code. Once it's connected, you'll get this screen that says, do we want to receive panel data? So whatever's on the panel will be put onto the laptop. Do we want to send a link data to the panel? So whatever's in our database will be sent to the panel or no update at all. So most people uh, start with the receive panel data. So we know we've got the right information that is currently in the panel. So hit okay and it will upload the data into this database and show you the differences between this database and what's in the panel. Um, so do we want to replace the database data with the panel data? Yes, we do. 
and our panel's connected. Now you can go into control panel configuration and change all the settings that you want, um, like zone names, zone configurations, uh, user codes, user names, everything like that. So once you've made all your changes, click your save icon and go back to link and then we can download to the control panel. So any changes that we've made will go to the control panel. So let's do that. Hit download to control panel. It will download data. Go back to link idle and then it will say the download to the control panel has been successful. The connection has been terminated, press OK. So whenever you download to the control panel, you will always lose connection. It's just part of how the system works um, and you'll have to reconnect. Now, sometimes when you hit reconnect, it won't connect straight away. And this is usually because the sirens are running. And if you've got the sirens running, the system will not connect. So some people set up the panel on the table and they go to connect. The sirens are running, but they don't realize that because they're not really connected. You've just got the control panel on the table. So that's one reason it won't connect. Um, so just reconnect. And we're connected again. Um, some things you might notice is here your cloud ID. So if you set up a B426M um, or a B450, which is the GSM module, and you've enabled the cloud, you will see your unique cloud ID number here. We've got two modules. One's the B426M that we're talking to, and the other one is the B450 GSM module. So we've got two modules on this system. If you want to connect via the cloud, you can do that. Make sure in your customer information, you put your cloud ID in here. And then when you go to, let's just do it now. So let me disconnect. And instead of going via IP, we'll do it via the cloud. So customer information, I don't have a cloud ID. So we can get it, whoopsies. We can get it from here. That's the cloud ID. So I'm just gonna copy that and put it in there. Hit save, go back to link. And now we're gonna connect via network cloud. So exactly the same process. It would say attempting to synchronize. Sometimes it takes slightly longer. And there we are connected via the cloud. So it doesn't matter what network we're on. It doesn't matter where we are on the planet. As long as we've got data and the panel's connected via the cloud, then you can download into your system and see what's going on. Um, other little things you can do is you can arm the system in a way or stay mode. You can also set the new time, but that's really about it. Also review journal, if you wanna see what the panel's done, you can hit review journal, launch selected function. It loads up the journal and here you see what the panel's been doing. Nope, we're not gonna save that. So when we finish, hit disconnect. And that's really it about how to connect your panel. I will be making another video regarding um, actually programming the system up, but this will get you connected. Thanks a lot. If you enjoyed this video, leave your comments below. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can catch us on Facebook and Instagram, and don't forget to visit our site, www.cheapalarmparts.com.au. See you next time.